Hey guys, welcome back to your iOS tutorials. And in this particular tutorial, we're going to learn about the prepare for segue method. All right. So now what I'm looking at is basically this project, this boilerplate project that uh, I've saved for you guys. So you guys can look below in the, the description of this YouTube video and find a link to our website where you guys can download this and start where I'm at. Um, the other place, if you just guys want to go to our website, uh, not there. And uh, go to the tutorial area right up here, and you'll see that uh, there's some iOS, there's other some Android stuff, good stuff, guys, if you haven't watched most of this. But anyways, look for the Prepare for Segway tutorial that we're going through, and you'll find the project that you can download to start with. <clears throat> All right, so now the first thing that I want to do is I want to explain what we're going to do. So basically, we've got two view controllers here with three buttons on this front page, and we're basically going to be jumping to this view um, with each of these buttons and so now we're gonna hook these up so I can show you what we're gonna do so basically control click and drag hook that up with a push we're gonna do the same thing with this the middle button was already um, hooked up for you guys and uh, so basically as we go to this application we're gonna click this button and it's gonna take us over to this view controller here so I'm gonna show you uh, what the finished project is gonna look like and I'm gonna show you how to get there as well so I'm gonna go to our simulator and this is again a finished so when you go to hello um, basically we've got a label here that passes information as says hello my friend now when we go to hola you'll see that that label is now changed to hola mi amigo alright and the same thing with bam down here we've got basically an image that shows up instead of the label up here and so now this may not be like ideal for most of you guys in your applications because there's quite a few different ways to actually pass information but just to, so you guys understand the concept and the method of prepare for segue because it does come in handy a lot of times when you're passing the same information and you don't necessarily need a whole nother view controller to pass that information alright so now that we've got those segues actually hooked up over here I'm going to do uh, one more thing with uh, this UI image view uh, since the image that we're going to put in there is not uh, it's not this size we're going to go ahead and aspect fit um, the image within there so we pass the information and it'll look a lot nicer that way all right and one key part um, to this method is basically these identifiers of our segues and so if you click on the segue you'll see that uh, it's going to be associated to this button so I'm going to identify this segue as hello and then I'm going to go do the same thing for this one which is associated with the Ola button and uh, put an identifier there as Ola and lastly this identifier for the BAM button here uh, we're gonna go and just write uh, BAM so these identifiers could be whatever in this case I'm just uh, basically putting them out there so I know what they are alright so that should be everything that we have to hook up within this storyboard now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our view controller um, and as you guys see we've got view controller and view controller 2 view controller is gonna be this first main view and view controller 2 is hooked up here and you can find that out by again just clicking here going up to your files and your identity and making sure that you've got the right class associated but we're not going to go into that so go to your view controller dot m alright and one thing that I'm going to enable is go up to the top editor I'm going to enable side by side which allows us to look at two different classes or files at the same time so now you'll see up here we're looking at viewcontroller.m and we're also looking at viewcontroller.h and uh, we've got some pre-populated stuff in each of them and that's again in the in the tutorial assets that you guys downloaded earlier so we won't have to worry about that so right in uh, right under the implementation for the viewcontroller.m we're gonna start developing the method for this prepare for segue and so simply write void and uh, start writing prepare and you'll see that uh, basically the only method that comes up is this prepare for segue if you double click that we uh, we basically have started this method and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put some brackets in there and uh, within those brackets is gonna be basically what we're gonna write next to identify the segue identifier and uh, pass the information that we want to our other view okay so now uh, before we get started I want you guys to uh, go ahead and import our other class so we're gonna do that by going up to the top there we're gonna start writing view controller and we're gonna pull in the view controller 2.h and essentially what we're gonna do is as we look at our segue identifier we're gonna tell it to send the information to our second view 
or our second view controller and I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down a little bit over on this side so we have a little bit more room and can see what we're doing and so we're gonna write a few if else if statements and we're gonna start with basically identifying the first um, segue identifier so we're gonna write if and uh, in this case we're gonna put a condition and this condition is gonna basically look at our segue identifier and in doing so we're gonna ask it if it's equal to a particular string and this string is if you remember right that's gonna be the identifier that we put in there and we manually did so the first one that we're gonna do is the hello and uh, that should be it as far as the condition there after we know where it's coming from or uh, which identifier it is we're gonna assign some statements to it and so in this case what we want to do is we want to develop a string that says hello my friend and then we want to pass that information to the next view controller and so we're gonna start out by developing the NS string and in this case we'll just call it intro because let's say you're introdu introducing a game and depending on what button they push you give them a different start menu or welcome menu so we're gonna have welcome and in this case we're gonna start typing hello my friend and that should be the end of that string that we've developed now what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna tell our second view controller that you're the destination for this identifier all right and so we're gonna do that by calling our view controller to we're gonna set a pointer of just VC just something easy and uh, we're gonna set it uh, to the segue destination view controller all right so essentially what that's doing is it's saying hey we're coming to uh, we're coming to you guys to pass this information now it's great it knows where the view controller but it doesn't know what we're gonna do with this string yet basically we just have this string sitting here now we've got to tell this string where we want it to go within this view controller too all right so now that's where we're gonna flip over and uh, we're gonna go up here to view controller 2.h make sure you're selected on that if you're not within there you can go to this manual and find uh, view controller .h. and so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna basically establish um, a string over here and that's where we're gonna pass our information okay so I basically copied that IB outlet and we're gonna establish a string here we're just gonna call this string uh, we'll just say intro intro string all right and we're gonna establish one other element here one other object and that is gonna be a UI image for the image that we're gonna establish later I figure we might as well do it now so we're gonna establish the UI image and in this case we'll in this case we'll just call it intro image all right so now, uh, now that you've got that set, we're gonna go to its counterpart. Well, we'll see if we can find it here. We're gonna go to the view controller two dot, and as you go there, we're gonna synthesize all of our objects and uh, property of. Let's see, we've got intro, image, and in this case, we'll just string them out. We've got intro string. We've also got our label, and we've got our image view.